Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's your guy, Mr. 945, coming back at you with another video. <sighs> it has been, oh boy, 57 days since my last 4473. Yes, I am an addict and I can admit it and I'm going through withdrawal. This was the last thing that I got that required a 4473 and it was almost two months ago. That's why the hell I'm only showing this lower. Now I've since gotten an upper for it uh, and I actually ordered another upper for it <laughs> in a different color, but in terms of filling out a 4473, it's been almost two months since I've filled out one. And I'm not counting leap year. Um, well, I guess I am counting leap year. <sighs> it's gotten so bad. My FFL called me and asked me what was going on. If I was okay. Just to check on me. Yeah. They reached out. I got their number saved in my phone. They got my number saved in their phone. I got my own shelf at the FFL. And it's not the same FFL that I go to for the range. Um, I go to a different one. But for my FFL, the one that I go to to do all my transfers, yeah, they, they charge $25 for a transfer fee. That's the cheapest that I've actually found anywhere. Um, the range that I go to charges $40. So, yeah. I'd have to drive a little bit longer to get to the one that charges 25, but sometimes it's worth it. Um, but yeah, they reached out. They was like, dude, you okay? You still alive? You didn't get arrested or nothing? ATF ain't came for you or nothing like that? Yeah, nah. So they, they reached out to me and they was like, man, just checking on you, checking on your brother. So yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while. And and yeah, I mean, I really haven't, there's some stuff out there that I want, but I'm, I'm trying to be patient and I'm trying to curb my appetite and all of that stuff. And yeah, it's, it was so bad. I would go into the FFL that I do my transfers to. And sometimes I would shoot there too. At one time I took my wife and one of the ladies behind the counter was like, Hey, it's been a while we ain't seen you or whatever and my wife looks sideways like the fuck so yeah she she was she was feeling some kind of way that that i had that type of love up at the everville because again i go there man i it was it was to the point i was getting my nickname was mr transfer Forget 945, Mr. 945. Nah, I, I should have named my channel Mr. Transfer because I was getting transfers left and right. Like, I had it so bad, y'all. I was probably getting a transfer. Um, I was averaging a couple per month. There were some months I did. I remember one time I actually bought two guns in the same week. Um... Then there was a few months, where, well, I guess a few months, I don't know. There was a time when I was getting a gun like them every week. And yeah, so I was free. I, I was getting picking up a transfer more than I was going to the range to shoot my guns. So, which goes back to, you know, when I did go to the range, I was taking like four or five guns at a time so I could shoot them all. So, yeah. But yeah, so that's why I'm showing this. So y'all can feel my pain. And just like, man, why is this dude only showing a, a, a lore? Um, this is the, the dagger, um, micro dagger lore. So, and again, this was the last thing that I bought back in January. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much why I'm showing it. So y'all can feel my pain. You know, you want some gun porn and I'm not giving it to you. Nah. But yeah, <laughs> so I still buy sex accessories, ammo, all of that good stuff. I still buy that on a regular, but I mean, I just haven't pulled the trigger on anything. And partly it's because, I mean, I'm being real, real picky right now with regards to what I want. 
Um, not necessarily trying to get nothing high quality or nothing like that and something that costs two grand like a staccato. Nah, y'all probably won't see a staccato on my channel. Um, that's not something that I even desire. I would get one of these budget 2011s before I got a staccato. Um, no, no diss to, to the staccato guys or whatever like that. The gray bag boys, hey, go for it. Um, that's just not my stilo. So, so yeah, so don't feel like, oh, you saving up your money to get this super expensive such and such. Nah, that's not even it. There's just not... I'm I'm kind of getting bored with what's out there right now. So so that's why I really haven't picked anything up. I mean, there's a couple of things on my radar and I've shared it on videos before, but um nothing that I'm like itching and rushing out to get right now. Um I'm capping. I'm sorry. So there was a gun that I almost picked up. Um but I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And I I told y'all in one of my other videos, I'm getting an MP5 clone. So I'm already claimed it, but I'm trying to talk myself out of it. I've had, I've I've actually ordered one from PSA several months ago when they had the AP5M on sale for like $8.99 free shipping. Um, I ordered one and I called PSA the next day and I canceled the order. Yep. Right before it shipped out or whatever, they were like, you sure? I was like, yeah. And it was out of stock afterwards. So, so yeah, I almost had one. And I was like, damn, I should have grabbed that. But I talked myself out of it. I was like, I don't need that. Because I really wanted the peak, right? So, because <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a suppressor. So, really wanted the peak. So, that was the, the other reason why I canceled it. So, that's really kind of what I'm waiting on. And um, Atlantic has it for, what, 1070 right now. Um, after shipping, it'll be roughly about 1100. I had it in my cart. I almost clicked by, but I stopped myself. Aren't you all proud of me? I stopped myself. So, so yeah, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting until the price go down a little bit more, but I will have one. Um, I was actually trying to decide between that one or a Zenith. Um, I almost pulled the trigger on a PTR, um, MP5 clone, but I think I'm gonna go the traditional route. Um, so again, either Zenith or AP5. I'm not doing the HK. So for those who say, oh, you need to get the real thing. Yeah. Give me three grand and I'll do it. Um, but outside of that, nah, um, I'm fine with the clone. I am perfectly fine with the clone. But yeah, man, I, I, I'm an addict. I'm a gun whore. I'm, a, I'm addicted. And I admit it. That's the first step. I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be strong. Y'all pray for your boy. Um, these things are like tattoos, man. They, they like porn or whatever, but they like Pokemon. I got to get them all right. So, yeah. And I want some damn more. So yeah. Do I, do I need them all the ones that I have? Nope. Um, why do I have so many that I have? I won't say how many I have, but I have quite a few. Um, I've made numerous excuses, reasons, whatever you want to call it as to why I have as many guns as I do. And my family, they, they, you know, sometimes my, 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 uh, brother-in-law and my brothers and my sisters, they give me some shit. They call me all the way from Chicago and say, Hey, show us the safe. You got anything new? And I'm like, man, y'all better, you, you all out of here. A ATF or something? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, but man, they be clowning me. They be clowning me. But I mean, you know, usually, I mean, there were reasons I've bought guns because I finished a big project at work. So I rewarded myself. Um, it, it be my birthday, Father's Day. I buy buy something for myself. Um, hell, bought me some stuff for Christmas. Um, what? I mean, yeah, I mean, I looked at them like, like they were trophies or like they are trophies. I'm speaking past tense. But yeah, like they're trophies of works of art. I love the fact that you can have, I mean, I guess it's the power behind it, right? Because, you know, it's an explosion in your hand, right? Whether it be a rifle, shotgun, uh, pistol or whatever, the, the fire and pin igniting that primer, creating that small explosion in your hand, that, that shit is just amazing to me. Right. So, um, yeah, yeah. So it, it's, it's a thing I, I wish, and I guess this will be another topic for another video, but I wish somebody would have told me beforehand. 
Um, but yeah, I'll do another video on that. That sounds like a good topic. But yeah, my wife, she she actually don't give me any any shit for it, right? Um, a lot of times I'll <laughs> low key. I don't know if she's gonna see this video or not, but low key sometimes, and I haven't done this in a while, but um, sometimes when I I buy a firearm like a gun or something, I would also buy her a purse, right? So she got a gang of purses. She loved purses, so she a purse purse girl. Um, so I would buy her a purse, but. I still buy her purses and all of that because, you know, that, that's my girl. So, um, but I haven't, I, I, I haven't done it necessarily because I bought a gun, but I mean, I did it because I wanted to, but yeah, it's been a while since I've in tandem bought a purse and a gun purse for my wife, gun for me. Um, it's been a while since I've done that and yeah, but no, she don't, she don't really give me any, any shit for it. She's like, look, as long as you still taking care of the crib, taking care of business, Hey, that's, that's your money. You do what you do. So, um, she make her money. I make my money and you know, we take care of the house. We take care of the kids. We put food on, food on the table. Bills are paid. Hey, all that extra, you know? Hey, so, so it is what it is, but, but yeah, that's, that's really kind of what I wanted to share with you guys. I, I wonder if I have some like-minded folks out there, such as myself that are addicts to this two a game, um, whether it be again, guns, ammo you know i i get addicted by ammo man Ugh, that's that's really been the kick that i've been on is buying a lot of ammo lately so um not necessarily just stock not necessarily like panic buying or anything like that just stocking up because i'm trying to get to the range more so i'm like damn i need to get some more ammo <laughs> so i need to replenish what i shoot um so yeah, so just trying to stock up more there. So if I see a deal, I try to go ahead and get on top of it and, and go for it that way. Um, and plus I hate to sell guns because you don't get your, your value back on, on selling it. So um, it's like withdrawal though. I, I go through a thing and I've had a video on this too about you know selling, selling guns or whatnot, you know, for whatever your reason may be, um, I'd be so back and forth so back and forth but yeah i try to convince myself both ways and and it's just a losing battle but yeah y'all pray for your boy I, i'm i'm up in here scratching right now because uh i got that itch i got that itch i want something else i want something else but i'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to stay strong so pray for your boy pray for your boy and um yeah that's how i just wanted to to get that out it was on my chest it was on my heart so i figured i'd do a video on it um i am an addict um and yeah if you are an addict like me let me know what your pains are that you're going through and we can get through this together ladies and gentlemen we can get through it together i claim it i claim it in the name of jesus um but yeah so outside of that i'm gonna let y'all go for now uh, in the meantime, as always, continue to stay safe, keep training and supporting those 2A rights. It's your boy, Mr. 945. I am out until the next one. Peace.